all right so let's get to it well if you have flashed the 9.0 based or the android pi based miui 10 which i did the video like i'll link it in the cards right here if you have flashed it on the redmi note 5 pro you guys should know that you are pretty much stuck right like after flashing that i realized that i can't simply like use twrp yes i did have to twrp because i flashed the lazy flasher but even if I boot into TWRP, every time I boot into that from the system, I had to like format data. So there is no way around it. Then I tried to like format the data and try to install any kind of like different custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And I see that I can't do anything because it simply can't detect like whenever you connect a USB cable in TWRP with your PC. So again, you're pretty much stuck. Then what? I tried like by putting the ROM and GApps file of Havoc OS on a pen drive then connecting it through OTG on the Redmi Note 5 Pro in TWRP did not work. Then what? I tried to put the ROM and GApps file in this like micro SD card and put it on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and then I tried to flash the Havoc OS with the GApps and it was showing error 7. So again I was stuck. So what's the solution from these things? Well, I would say I did find a solution and I am letting you guys know in this video. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing videos like this. So what do you want to do when you are stuck like no, you can't simply connect the micro SD cable with your PC. You can't flash ROMs with micro SD card or even OTG and the OTG simply did not detect. That's a different point. And by the way, the micro USB cable, like even if you connect, it won't detect like anything. It's just charging, it's just simply charging the phone, nothing else. So over here, I did one thing and I did take risk. I had two ways, it, it, it will either break or it will just like work out. So what I did is I went to this website, which is the like en.miui.com and I downloaded the latest like Indian Redmi Note 5 Pro's developer beta norm of the MIUI 10 and by downloading that i even like downloaded lazy flasher because i did not simply have it in my storage because i already formatted it so i downloaded the lazy flasher and the latest miui 10 developer version for redmi note 5 pro indian so i downloaded the rom file and the lazy flasher file went back to the twrp and put the rom and like the lazy flasher zip in micro sd card then try to flash the like rom as you do like any MIUI ROMs with the lazy flasher, I just flashed it. So after that, I did not even reboot. So after that, what I did is I went to the wipe section, then advanced wipe, then wipe cache, Dalvik system and data and the vendor and stuff. So after wiping that, like after installing MIUI 10 Indian version, I went to wipe straight away, then flashed the Havoc OS and G apps to see if it does work out. Well, yes, it did work out. And currently, as you can see, I am again on the Havoc OS Pi, never going to flash MIUI again with TWRP and stuff. They, like, I have faced so many times like with like flashing official TWRP on devices like Redmi Note 5 Pro, Redmi Note 3. I am like sick of it. I am never going to flash MIUI again. Pretty sure. So that is pretty much it, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.